Hey guys, I'm back with another coding interview practice video. This week's problem was requested by Justin. Before I get into the problem, I want to say that this is a hard problem. I wouldn't expect Google or Facebook to ask this question in an interview. Also, the solution is quite complex, so I'll try my best to explain it clearly. If you guys still have any uncertainties, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to clarify. The problem is, there are two sorted arrays, nums1 and nums2, of size m and n respectively. Find the median of the two sorted arrays. You might think, oh, since the arrays are sorted, I can merge them in linear time and then get the middle element. Well, that's not going to work because the question specifies that the overall runtime complexity should be O of log m plus n. I'm going to break this problem into a slightly simpler and more general problem. Find the kth largest number in two sorted arrays. The expected runtime actually gives us a hint for how we should approach this problem. Since the problem wants a log time solution, we know that we need to reduce the solution space by a constant factor at each iteration by doing some sort of binary search. In standard binary search, we look at the median and compare it to the element we're searching for. This comparison tells us which side to look, so we eliminate the other side. Now we continue this process with the new search space, which has been cut in half. Let's walk through our customized binary search algorithm, which parallels the standard version of binary search. The first step of binary search is to look at the median. We can't get the median without merging the arrays, but we can get close. If we take the median of each array, we know the actual median is somewhere between those elements. Since we're given k, we know which half we want to eliminate from. If k is on the right half, we would like to eliminate the entire left half, but we don't know the elements that make up the left half. However, we do know that all the elements in the left half of the array with the lower median are within the left half of the merged array so we can eliminate the left half of the array with a lower median. On the other hand, if k is on the left side, we eliminate the right half of the array with the higher median. I created a table and a visualization to make the process a bit easier to follow. Let's start by coding find kth. This will be a recursive function, so let's start by writing the base case. If nums1 is empty, we take the kth index of nums2. On the other hand, if nums2 is empty, we take the kth index of nums1. Now let's move on to the recursive cases, which were covered by the 2x2 two two table I showed earlier. Let's first get the middle indices for each array. We can check if k is on the left or the right half by comparing it to the sum of the middle indices. Let's start with k on the right side. We compare the middle elements of each array. If the middle element of nums1 is larger, we eliminate the left half of nums2 and update k by subtracting the number of elements we've eliminated. If the middle element of nums2 is larger, we eliminate the left half of nums1 and update k. Now let's move on to k on the left side. If the middle element of nums1 is larger, we eliminate the right half of nums1. Note that we don't have to update k here because we're removing from the end rather than from the front this time. And if the middle element of nums2 is larger, we eliminate the right half of nums2.
Now let's use our find kth function to help us write find median. When there's an even number of elements, we return the average of the two middle elements. When there's an odd number of elements, we return find kth of the middle element. That's it. Let's run the tests. And they pass. Now let's analyze the time complexity. From find median, we call find kth a constant number of times. In each iteration of find kth, we decrease the search space by a constant factor when we throw out a quarter of the elements. So the time complexity for that should be logarithmic with respect to m plus n. However, we use list slicing when we eliminate elements, which is linear with respect to the number of elements sliced. We can get around this by keeping track of indices rather than slicing the lists. But I wanted to use list slicing in the video because it was easier to follow along. I'm going to add an optimized solution below that keeps track of indices. Instead of slicing the array, we just update the starting or ending index of the array. Otherwise, the logic behind the code is the same. This makes find kth run in logarithmic time rather than linear time. I'll post a GitHub link to the code in the description so you can spend some time looking over the optimized solution. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to explain the solution clearly. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you have any requests, leave it at the comments below. See you guys in the next video.